Hello there, I am John Crow with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got here to Dungeon Man's Dungeon. It's himself, really. How cool. Um, and, uh, we actually need to fall through this hole, actually. And we're gonna have to fall through another one. But, after that, we should be in the, um, front of the dungeon. Oh, that counts as a back attack. Jeez. Well, I get like, oh my gosh. Split three, okay, um. Choose piece of rock and bait on this thing. Yes, I freeze beta and shoot. Yeah, there we go. Let's just try to take this thing out before it tries to take us out. Bash, bash, and shoot. With smash deck, nice. Cool. Where'd it go, Paula? Okay. So here's another item. I don't think I have any. Uh, Room in my inventory, so I'm gonna have to go, like, get rid of an item or something. I got my dog just jumped on his on my bed. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess we can get rid of uh, if he's like caramel. Yeah. But not get rid of it. Use it on someone. So let's give it to, um, Ness, I guess. It's covered 14. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, it was towards PP. That's good. I think this is, um, IQ capsule. That's the fast forward thing. Okay, I got the skip a little closer, I guess. The IQ capsule's inside. Nice. Let's give it to Jeff, actually. Cause he's the one I'll give it to. Let's go all the way down here. Uh, let's give that to Jeff. What the hell? What use? Yeah, use it on Jeff. Look, there we go. Q and up one. Cool. So now, like, Dungeon Man is following you. So this is like a temporary party member, and he does a lot of damage. Hopefully, I can show it off in the next upcoming fight or whatnot. So let's see here. Um, PSI Rock and Beta, PSI Freeze, Alpha, I guess, shoot, and the Dungeon Man will do his big attack, but he does like a lot of damage. I think he does like 400 plus HP worth of damage. So unless Ness knocks us out, we can actually see him do that in action. There we go. Dungeon Man attacks 230. Okay, that's still pretty much, that's still a lot of damage. And you can stay here and grind if you want. I'm just gonna move on though. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see here. Ah oh, man, this guy's got a spin from the sky. Ay ay ay, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a figure of genius if I do say so myself. I'll kick your fitness to memory. Look at the camera. Ready? See fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. There we go. Oh, what a great photograph. It'll always be like the fondest of memories. He take he like takes you know, it takes pictures of us everywhere. It's crazy. So, um, I don't... Well, I'm kind of lost, because... Oh, yeah, the teddy bear actually follows you. If you see, like, right there. Yeah. So, like, we have five party members right here. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay. No, I think there's a way we have to... You get stuck in between the trees. But, uh, I can't seem to find where to go. Oh, it's over here. Okay, cool. Let's talk to this guy. Um, let's sell some stuff, actually. Um, let's sell. Trying to think here. I should be good. I just need to find. Ex I think I need to fix out express to get some of these items, honestly. Okay, it's about you. Okay, let's just PSI. Rockin' Gamma, I guess. PSI Fire Gamma. Shoot, the one in the middle. There we go. 
No, I must tell you, that's good for us. You take the super push cherry bear, that's really nice of you, actually. That's actually kind of mean, actually. You're a bully. You, you want to hurt teddy bears all around the world, huh? You alien scum. Ash, brush, and shoot, yeah. Alright, guys, destroyed, yay. Good. I like it when things are destroyed. Oh, shit. I like it. <laughs> Never mind. I disregard that. <laughs> Paul's now level 50. I'll fix one by one. Speed one by one. I'll get one up by one. IQ one up by one. Max HP one up by one. That rocks max HP one up by eight. Cool. Just trying to find the part where we have to part ways with the dungeon man. But of course, these enemies still want to fight us, I guess. Bash, bash, shoot. Let's hope for the best here. Come on, Dungeon Man, there we go. Nice. 4,000 and 25 experience, I think is what it said. Jeff was in the level 48. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 1. Max Mitch went up by 1. Cool. Ugh, oh no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Mm, I can't move. Well, it cannot, if I can't move, if I cannot move, it is okay. Nessa, I'll make you, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. Oh. Okay, so he's stuck there, so that kind of stinks. Let's talk to this guy. Escape place called Deep Darkness in the, on, is it on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health just be one, just by wandering in the swamp. You want to cross the river, uh, even though you know it's a stupid idea? Yes, of course. The swamp is bottomless, even though you're swimming. You'll be dragged in. It is, it is different, a different story if you have a submarine. That's interesting. Okay, let's talk to Dungeon Man and see what he has to say about it. A submarine? I believe I, that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. Okay, while we're right here, I'm gonna actually use the bench to heal up, actually. That's a good idea. Cool. So, yeah. Um, uh, here's my inventory right now. Here's Nessa's inventory. Here's Paula's inventory. And here's Jeff's inventory. I'm gonna actually use like, store some of these items in like, Stargo Express. But I'm gonna have to I'll show you guys what when I um know what to store exactly. I'm not really sure what to store. Again, I'm using trigger calories let's play as a guide, so I'm really not sure what to store. So I'll be right back and I'll make sure to show it off when I go call Stargo Express probably several times. So I'll be right back you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I actually decided to just Go like Sky, call like Sky Express in between, uh, the, um, I just basically edited it out, basically. I said that twice, I think. So here's Nessa's inventory, is uh, pretty much cleaned up right there. I think it took me, th I think it was, I think I stored like nine items, because I had to call like Sky Express at least three times. And they can only take three items per call, or per pickup order. So yeah, nine items are pretty much stored. But, so yeah, they're, I just clean up nicely for Ness. Here's Paula's. So I kept the Horn of Life and the Super Posh Teddy Bear, of course. Of course, the bag, the bag of Dragonite, the Gelato, and the Magic Truffle and her equipment items. For Ness, I should be at ATM cards, Soundstone, Receiver Phone, Franklin Badge, Night Pendant, Brain Food, Lunch, uh, Big League Bat, Lucky Coin, Diamond Band, Hawkeye, and Cup of Life Noodles. And for Jeff, uh, I kept the Shield Killer, Hyper Beam, Flame Pendant, HP, Hungry HP Sucker, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Lucky Coin, Diamond Band, and Big Bottle Rocket. Uh, big Bottle Rocket, Big Bottle Rocket, Big Bottle Rocket, so four Big rock Bottle Rockets, and then two Multi Bottle Rockets. I might buy another one, just have three. But I'm gonna have to do that later, because we're already in, uh, you know, Dungeon Man's body, so we might as well just hit, hit the submarine first. Yeah, having as many multi bottle rockets will make your life easier with all these upcoming boss bottles. So yeah. I think I have to make it way up to um the three ropes again or something. Yeah, four ropes. But hopefully I can find my way back. This is the way you're supposed to go though, because I remember it's just a long way around. 
I have to take on some enemies though. Okay. okay fine, we'll just use PSI Rock and Beta. Uh, PSI Fire, or PSI Free Fire Beta, I guess, yeah. And then Drift can shoot the, um, the mystical record that causes us pain because it's like one of the harder enemies to defeat in this dungeon. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and let's try the PSI Rock and Beta. Yeah, it's that movie nice. Good. We had an easy time with that battle. That's what I like to hear or see. I think that was 1,729 experience gained for each for Ness, Paul, and Jeff. So yeah, here we are back in. Oh, there's the collection over there. You can kind of see the summary. We're trying to get up to that way. So let's go up to the third one again. Third rope. I believe it was the third rope. And. Gotta go over here. We have to go this way. There's an item I forgot to pick up. Ten dollars. Okay, cool. I think over there is where we need to go. I could go on. I could go sit on that bench and heal up, but I guess not. I don't need to. I guess. Let's go down this way. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Go up this small rope. There we go. Okay, we gotta take on this alien guy. I think this alien guy right here is the more one of the more tougher enemies in this dungeon. The lesser Mook, I guess, is his name. PSI Rock and Beta. PSI freeze beta, I guess. Shoot, yeah, there you go. 20 HP, okay, maybe that's not the best PSI move to use, actually. PSI freeze beta, oh no. No, I got super push tape, very good. Bash, bash, and shoot. There we go. 2,500 for some experience each. Cool. Nice. I like it. Let's go up this ladder. This time was a ladder. This rope. Let's climb it. Let's go over here. I think it's this rope we have to climb up next. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's stuck you again. There's an old submarine in the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. I'll take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. Okay, cool. Okay, they just is coming out of the wall. So you don't want to come down that hole, but you want to come down this hole. I think something was blocked off before. You can't, so you can't go down this hole. But right now it's you know not there anymore, so that's good. I can just fall through this hole. Another hole. Hopefully, I did that right. Yeah, okay, this is the other direction we need to be. This actually makes sense on where we need to be. Just avoid those enemies, I guess. Here's a payphone, I guess. Make sure you can read the sign for that, I guess. No, I don't want to pick up the receiver. Jeez, okay. Just wasted a dollar. I'm just kidding. I set up this. Oh, well, I did waste a dollar there. Just doing the. Picking up the receiver, I guess. I set up a telephone line in this dungeon. I wonder if that's controversial. Big brick road. Ah, uh, maybe. Let's talk to the, let's do the. Okay, taxi with no engine. Beautiful enough though. The thing doesn't run. Brick road. Okay. So, and then here's a rust bicycle, I guess. Rusty bicycle. Rust is the perfect brick. Brick road. Okay. This is a gift from Doctor and Donuts. Be careful how you use it. Brick road. Okay. Here's the submarine, broken down old submarine, the old color is purely uh, coincidental. Uh, coincidental, there we go, brick road. Okay, just check the broken submarine. Yes, it, it can still work. Ness and his friends carried out the submarine that Jeff fixed. Cool. And now we're in it, nice. I'm not controlling this, we're actually just going down in the submarine. 
we're in the submarine, going in the river and everything. And we're making our way to the, um, the Deadly Island place that that one person told us about. They told us that we probably need a submarine to get there. And we have the submarine now, so that's good. How nice. Cool. We may, we've kind of traveled a long way because the water changed colors. Ooh, mysterious. That's that's when you know you went a long way in a submarine. Nice. Okay, we made it. Okay, so here's a telephone of all things. Um, yeah, this two can. Ring ring. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this has been my Earthbound Let's Play Party. Next, I'll take on this new place though, because very suspicious and odd looking. So yeah, so this has been Draco again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time on my Earthbound Let's Play.